today we shall be developing Arma model using EVOS. Arma which stands for Auto Aggressive Moving Average Model. So in EVOS we are going to use especially modeling of the value of the Euro Dollar Exchange Rate at closing of the financial market. We have uh, closing value, we have highest value, we have lowest value, we have value at the opening of the market. So we use in this tutorial the value of at the closing of the market. So let us open our series. First thing to do modeling series using Auto Aggressive moving average is to look at unit rule in our series so look at unit rule in the series you just need to go on view and then we can first of all look at graph so go on view graph and look at the evolution of our series the first step as i told you is to look at unit rule in our series so go on view unit proof test click on unit rule test you can select a mounted ticket follower test for example at level so we have intercept in our series and then click on ok so that you can see that our p value of augmented decay floor test is uh, 0.049 is less than 5% meaning that I, at 5% level you can consider that our series uh, at closing value of euro dollar exchange rate is stationary so you can look at other uh, unit group tests like Philips Peron click on ok so according to Philips Peron, Philippe Peron our series is not stationary because the p value is more than 5% so you can also look for example at KPSS so that according to KPSS we have LM statistic which is a critical value at 1, 5 and 10 percent level as the test statistic is less than the critical value we cannot object to null hypothesis meaning that our series is not stationary according to KPSS test only test that confirm the rationality of our series is a method to the roof test so we consider that our series is stationary. So let us go to see the, the correlogram of our series. Correlogram, go on view, click on correlogram at level. So then click on OK. You can see that correlogram show a autocorrelation relationship in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can put uh, autocorrelation uh, term in our uh, ARMA model till order 5. You can put closing value lab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in our series. And moving average, we should only put one element of order 1. Our series. So the correlogram of our series is set. We can just estimate our series using the tab quick, then the main equation. So when we are on tab, you can just put uh, our series uh, closing followed by the constant, uh, the intercept, we have closing, lock one. We can also put closing till like five, lock five, as we saw in the in the correlogram. So lock closing, lock three, closing, lock four, lock five, and the moving average of order one. And then we click on OK by least square. Least square is uh, by default third of estimation. Then we click on OK and we can see that our model is here. Almost all our variable are significant in our series. Closing lab 1. 5% we cannot consider that 5% level according to our model. Previous days significantly influence the value of the day uh, closing value. Lab 2 closing value is significant. Same thing for lab 4 uh, closing values as well as moving average 10. So let us look at the residual of our series. We should test for the normality of our series. Go on view, do a residual diagnostic normality test. So we can see that at 5% level, we can just accept the null hypothesis of normality, meaning that our series follow the uh, normal distribution. That's good for the econometric modeling. So we can look also at the ETO scedacity of our series. So we can go on residual diagnostic and click on uh, ETO scedacity test and we can choose a bridge pattern dot free test and then click on OK. But we can see that the null hypothesis of our test is heteroscedasticity. So we, we accept the null hypothesis of our test, meaning that our series is heteroscedastic. How to make a prevision of our series? To make a prevision of series, uh, we need to as of all extend the range of our series. So we came up on our base and double click on the range and change end dates. So the end date was were previously April the 24, 2020. So you can extend to May the 1st, 2020 and then click on OK. Precise involving inserting a file observation then click on Yes to continue and apply for, as well for the chronogram. So our series has been extended so we can, if we go on the spreadsheet you should see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 new values that has been extended to our series. So to make a prevision, as I told you, you just need to go on uh, forecast and give the name of the forecast series. You should choose uh, let dynamic forecast and uh, forecast sample that are April the 25th.
feet. April 25 because previously our series were ended in April 24. Now we uh, start forecasting at April 25, 2020 till May 1st, 2020. So then we click on OK and you can see that our series forecast has been made. You can select our two series closing and closing forecast and then open as group. Double click and open as group. So we can go and view, plot the uh, graph of our series. So the forecast is not visible. We should select our series beginning by the forecasting series. Well, then we double click and open as groups. Go on view, graph, and you can see the forecast series which is in blue and the series evolution in red. You can see that our model has been uh, have been used in order to forecast that our series is going to uh, go up in, uh, in the few days. If you are a trader, you should buy a dollar so that the few day the value of the dollar should go up and we reach a, a good level. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it very well help you understand how to run Arma model using EDUS.